My name is Dan Love, and I'm a 20-year-old student and filmmaker. Last April, I was confronted with a difficult moral dilemma. How could I reconcile the difference between my values of preserving intellectual property law with my desire to produce a powerful piece about the civil rights movement? A friend and I wanted to enter a contest held by the ACLU to produce a public service announcement commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Brown versus the Board of Education decision. We located many powerful civil rights photographs and songs on the internet, which we wove together to tell the story. Then we noticed the fine print. It said our entry wouldn't be accepted unless we had written permission from all our sources. As students, we couldn't afford to pay for the songs and photographs we had used. We weren't sure what to do. Luckily, I knew a civil rights photographer who allowed us to use his pictures. For without the chilling images of a dog attacking a young man, for people being sprayed with fire hoses, how could we convey the violence, triumphs, and overall importance of the civil rights movement? We also use a few public domain photographs and applied to the Smithsonian Folkways recordings for the music rights. Even after we had done all that, we were still worried we hadn't followed intellectual property law in creating our art. In the end, we decided any oversights are fair use and submitted our PSA. No Here it is. No segregation, no segregation.